Hey human family, how are you? It's Darren. Welcome to another episode of Fully Alive Again. On today's show, I want to talk about the post-traumatic growth theory. This theory and understanding can really give you the power to muster through any type of obstacles you're currently facing or any obstacles you might be facing in the future. So if speeding up your recovery by becoming fully alive again sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's do what we do and dive deep. No tears, no fears, fully alive again after these years. On a scale to 1 to 10, how excited are you about your life? Is it a 2? Is it a 3? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Be honest with yourself. Because this is the only life that you and I have. And it is up to us to make our lives what we want. Either the outside world, narcissists, other people can dictate who we are and what we become or we can take the will and with God and the universe's help design and create any type of life that we want. But we have to be excited about life. That's what a being fully alive is. It's about being excited about life. And the good news is, what happened to us, the soul-crushing experiences that happened to us, can give us the ability to create the life that we want. You see... In the mid-1990s, two psychologists prove what indigenous populations have known since the beginning of time. A psychologist by the name of Richard Tedeschi and Lawrence Calhoun prove that we human beings are designed to improve from adversity, that, in, that adversity makes us better. That even a traumatic experience that traumatizes us and stretches us psychologically can be an empowering experience. They found that people who endure severe psychological struggles, adversity, and trauma can often see positive growth after a traumatic experience. You see, guys, that's why... I am so blunt and talk to you, us, in a motivational, sometimes aggressive tone. You see, I believe there's two energies that we need in our life. That's the yin and the yang, the male and the female. And we need to respect them both. There is a time for hugging and nurturing. And ladies, you are wonderful at that, and that's a good thing. But then there's a time that dad energy needs to come in there, male energy. You see, in my opinion, a lot of the therapeutic therapy techniques keep us stuck in the lower level of who we are. It deals with the weakness in us instead of the strength. Now, I want to be very careful here not to shame us and not to underestimate how important the healing process is. But that healing process should encompass a robust modular of strength conditioning, of mental strength conditioning of building us up and preparing us for the world that we live in. I did a show the other day. Uh, what was it called? What was it called? Oh, uh, 
empath supply. And I was talking about how narcissists are all over online. And one of the things that a narcissist does when they're online, be it a covert narcissist or a narcissist that has come out of the closet, for the lack of a better term, they talk about how strong they are and the way that they deliver the message and how they're in control and we are the victims. And this is peppered in very covertly where you really have to have your third eye open to see it and understand it. And or they talk about how powerful the narcissist is and don't you dare stand up to him and run away. Now women, I know with a male narcissist and someone that could be physically threatening or doing something to you, of course this isn't a good idea. But what I'm trying to convey that these people aren't 10 feet tall. They're not some mastermind energy future robot like some of them like to think. They bleed like the rest of us. They are, if anything, they, are, they have more deficits than the rest of us. And the only reason you don't want to go into battle with them because it's a waste of time. It's irrelevant. They're irrelevant. It's like stepping in dog shit intentionally. <laughs> You wouldn't do that. But you shouldn't fear these people. You should be smart, but you shouldn't fear them any differently than you would anybody else. Don't get me wrong, they are sick, methodical, delusional people that you certainly want to respect and know their tactics and be aware when you're around them and to get them out of your life. But you shouldn't do it in the manner that a lot of people convey. That's all that I'm saying. And my personal opinion is when people are doing that, they're doing one or three things. Covert narcissists are narcissists online. The hidden message that they're trying to deliver. One is to make narcissism normal and to get narcissists acclimated into society as if they're just a little bit of a different personality difference and we're all really the same and you know these are just your good citizens walking down the street to desensitize you to what they really are and to make them your friend which is utterly ridiculous number two is to exaggerate their power and to convince you that you are just the weak little prey and you don't stand a chance to, against them. If we were to waste our time to think about how to hurt other people, because I did this because at one point when I first found out what people were doing, I was like, all right, you sons of bitches, you want to play? I am not the one. I'm coming after your asses. And I had some stuff that would have messed them up but I'm not of that stock. I'm not of that seed. And please don't misconstrue. That's not what I'm advocating. I'm advocating that the traumatic experience that you've gone through is not there to make you weaker. It's there to make you stronger. And 99% of any type of training and coaching and therapy that you're going through should be under the modular and the intention with the intent of mental strength conditioning, preparing you for the ugliness of the world, how to bob, weave, go up, over, around, or through these monsters, not to run from them, fear them, and be controlled and governed by them. This experience is here for us to grow. And our growth is unlimited. How high will a tree grow? Think about that for a second. How high will a tree grow? As high as they can. How high will a human being grow? Oh, uh, well, if it's easy or if I don't have to and if I... You see, we're afraid of our own growth and our own power. You know what power is? 
is understanding that you have it. All that I'm trying to convey is, is that no matter if you're female or male, you want that fight in you. We are not designed to be weak. We are not designed to fear other human beings, whether they're narcissists, demonic demons or not. You are a child of God. You are a sentient human being. You're the most powerful creature on the planet. Fuck a narcissist. And I hear so much, well, don't you ever, you know that if you ever get into a, and watch out, they'll do this and I'll, well, get the fuck out of here. If you know what they are, you can handle yourself. And ladies, I know it, it when it comes down to the physiology and the physical threat of a man to a woman, but even there, you can you can go to the shooting range. You can get a plethora of different weapons. You know where to kick a man. There's a lot of things that you can do and learn to feel more confident as a woman, as a man, as a human being. And I'm not talking about walking around like I'm a boss or I'm a queen bee and all of that bullshit, all of that phony shit. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about really connecting with your internal power, knowing who you are, being comfortable in your own skin, and being fully alive. And there's an art to this. We are not designed just to cry about what happened to us. The, the soul-crushing things that happened to us are here for us to take ourselves to the highest level, just like all the other living things on this planet. Only a human being won't grow to their full potential because of a litany of reasons. And a lot of those reasons stem from narcissistic abuse and the impact that narcissists have had on our culture. Does that make sense, you guys? So the takeaway from today is get excited about your life. Stop wallowing in the past as much as possible. I know it's easier said than done. No shame here. I spent almost three solid years in that sunken place. No matter where you're at, it's okay. No shame. Your time in making the transition to start to do the things that I'm talking about is your time. But do not get caught up in the mumbo jumbo bullshit that's all over the internet. You want to take your power and thrive. Post-traumatic growth is the takeaway. You're going to get better. You're going to be fully alive for the first time in your life. And you're going to have a natural high and more confidence and energy than you ever imagined. So get excited about your future, all right? Deeply appreciate you guys being here. I really do enjoy your presence. And what say you? Please let me know what you thought about this video or any other things that might be on your mind. And again, if you have a show topic that you'd like me to cover, let me know. And if I can make it happen, I will. And always remember, <laughs> it's better to be tricked, fooled, abused, and even damaged by a narcissist than to be a narcissist. All right, you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. No tears, no fears. Fully alive again after these years.